Hey everyone, it's Denise and we're back at the Red Rocket in Nuka World. And I apologize for not having uh, any videos for the past week. I've been having a lot of trouble record recording my videos. Um, the audio keeps messing up on me and then also my junk items um, will just randomly fly out this door right here. Um, and when I was recording my last video, the door, a ghost opened the door, the door opened on its own, and all my junk came flying out at me. Uh, it was really bizarre. So I want to um, record this video. I'm recording it at night because I cannot go to sleep because as soon as I do, all the junk items are going to get messed up. So um, let me just take you on a run around of the build real quick. And I'm sorry this is going to be a little bit rushed. Um, I decorated a little bit more on the outside. Um, if you want information, you need to ask the dogs. And um, that is if you live through the experience. Um, I put an iBot pod over here. Um, it does not work in Nuka World, however. Um, I hid a big generator over here um, underneath that. So hopefully um, no raiders can... Um, uh, find it and destroy it. I uh, put some defenses on the roof. Um, again, just uh, trying to make it look, you know, junky and raidery. Um, so, yeah, let me go ahead and take you inside. I'm just like so scared that, you know, everything is just going to randomly get ghosted, messed up. I mean, the, like, there wasn't even anybody in here to mess it up, and it just like came flying out the door. It was so weird. So anyways, this workshop, I think I mentioned on my last video, is inspired by Bad Bry's workshop that was on his Finch Farm build. And I'll leave a link in the description to his uh, build so you can see that. So um, this was heavily inspired by that. I really liked his workshop and so I decided to do one up um, for this settlement. Of course, none of these junk items are going to stay. I'm going to be taking them out and moving them up to the Raider shopping mall that I built. Um, I don't know what else to call it really. It's not really a shopping mall. I just put the general trader um, and the weapons and armor people up there together because I couldn't be bothered to build like three separate more structures for each vendor. So um, yeah, uh, I wanted my uh, robot workbench to be in here and um, threw some more stuff down. Uh, I tried to put some stuff in these boxes, you know, to make everything look like it's being actually being used. Um, this is a raider settlement. I suppose I could have gotten, like, um, I don't have to put everything on, on the shelf so straight, but, um, it's a lot harder to put everything on the shelf really straight like this, and I don't want to lose the honing of that skill, so I, um, I'm still doing that because it's more of a challenge than to just throw stuff up on the shelves. Um. Now on these shelves over here, it's like they're junk shelves and I did pretty much just throw things up here. Nothing was placed, it was just, everything was just thrown up here haphazardly. Um, this is like their, you know, um, stuff that they just have in their pockets or stuff that they have on them. They've just kind of thrown on this one shelf. Um, they do have a lot of weapons in here that they can add mods to and whatnot. Uh, here's my experimentation with stacking the steel. It doesn't stack very good because of its triangular um, ends or a shape, oblong, um, and then triangular shape on the ends. It like like this is stacked too high, but you can't even really tell. This is single high. It's not. I mean, like when it when you stack it, it sinks into each other. So um, that was my attempt at uh, using some actual, um, you know, components or whatever to decorate with. Uh, 
And so here in the middle, I just use those ball track um, two pronged pieces um, to make it look more, I don't know, workshoppy or whatever. Um, I just really did a lot of junk decoration in here. Um, there's just um, every kind of um, uh, crafting station in here. And they've got, oh, and we've got an empty shelf up here. I guess someone must have taken all the stuff off of it. I really started running out of a lot of stuff to decorate with for a workshop. I really just didn't know what else to put in here. Um, again, this stuff was just kind of thrown on here because I really didn't know what to put on there either. Um, I couldn't get to that top shelf to decorate it, but I mostly used just big items on these shelves. Um, so yeah, that's the workshop, guys. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this <laughs> this video uh, works out. Um, I've got the barber shop um, over there. I do want to show it to you guys, but it's like every time I actually go in it, the game freezes up. So I did want to show you the outside, how I use the cars to... Um, support it I thought this would be something fun to do and then over there on my shopping mall I actually used mannequins to um, use as support systems over there and every time I try to junk decorate in here too the game freezes up on me so um, I guess I'll just try to show you the outside of it at least <laughs> I really thought using the little bumper cars and the cars for supports was really a cute idea. Um, let's see if I can go in there. I don't know. I mean, it's nothing really special in here. It's just um, I was able to throw down some jet and a book. And then anytime I tried to, and of course the cars are poking through the floor, anytime I tried to junk decorate in here the game just froze up on me uh, but basically this is their places where they wash people's hair and, and stuff and um, there's two barbers and it looks junky it looks scrappy it's fine that the cars are poking through it just adds to the um, you know the raidery stuff that I'm going after for this look in the settlement um, now here is the um, Oh, see, now this fell down. Uh, this is the um, scavenging house, the scavenging station house. And um, I, had, I had a lot of fun building this because I used just all kind of weird pieces. And, and um, where I had holes, I'd stick like, you know, like that metal piece there. Or I don't know, I just, I just a little weird, weird stuff in here. Uh, it's nothing special either. It's just a spot where they can um, uh, scavenge for materials for the settlement. Uh, there's some more defenses back here. And of course, these lights never want to work. So it's just kind of butted up right next to the arcade. Uh, I might put a partial wall back here or maybe some like little slum houses or something. I don't know. But sorry it got dark in this video, guys. I just, I had to, um, you know, record that before, before something weird happened with the junk items again. So sorry it got, it got dark. But thank goodness this is, um, lit up a little bit for us here. So this is where all the dogs are staying and, um, so yeah. And I hit another generator in here and put some guys up there to try to fake anyone out that might see that as a something to destroy. I also did it up here too because this one actually got destroyed. I guess because it's poking out at the top. Maybe they were able to hit that part and destroy it. So anyways, um, I'm getting a little bit of lag here so I'm afraid it's going to freeze up on me guys. I will go ahead and end the video here. And um, 
the next video, I think I'll try to show you the hospital and maybe like what I'm doing with the shopping mall and whatnot. So I hope y'all are doing well. Thanks for watching, subscribing, commenting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.